So while I was on a recent trip, I realized that it would probably be a good idea for me to share just my tips of what I do with my wigs whenever I travel. So I made a little video while I was on the cruise ship in my room showing you how I had packed my wigs and showing you what they look like when they unpack them. So I hope you find this helpful. Okay, so for synthetics, I took Secret by Beltress in brown sugar sweet cream. There's the tag if you want to see it. And I just left her in her hair net. I didn't, I took the, um, the tissue paper out and I just left it in the hair net and you'll see that in the video. And I just placed it in a Ziploc bag. And I took this wig just because it's a very easy style. Um, it'll go in a low pony. Okay, so for my human hair wigs, I ended up taking my Allison by Continental Wigs. I took my uh, Bees Bobs, you guys see me in this a lot, um, that was custom colored by um, Chandra at Wigged Out Artist. And I also took my John Renault Carrie Light Petite that was also custom colored by Chandra. And with my human hair wigs, I always put them in silk bags. So this is one of Chandra's bags that she sent one of the wigs back to me in, and I love this bag. It's very, very silky, great for human hair. And um, this is just a Madison bag that's from another wig that I have. And I took that one on the trip too. Um, of course, one of the wigs, there's three human hair wigs. One was on my head. That's why there's two bags and three wigs. I also took my hustle wig and I had every intention of wearing it, but I just ended up sticking mostly with the Bees Bobs wig. So, um, you know, I honestly think I took too many wigs. I always tend to overpack. That's just me. Okay, so here's the Beltress secret wig. And as you can see, it's just in the hairnet. The tissue's removed. And I'm gonna place it in this Ziploc bag. So I'm gonna open up the bag. I kind of roll it up just a little bit, you know, just to keep the style, I don't know. You know, you'll just kind of have an instinct for keeping the style intact or whatever. Then I'm gonna squish out all the air. I like to push it down and make it really, really flat because then it fits in my bag and it holds the style of the wig just fine. So there you go. So for my human hair wigs, I'm gonna place them in one of these satiny bags. Um, I, they're either satin or polyester. I'm not sure what they're made of, but anyway, they have that satin finish to them. And that's just really, really uh, gentle on the hair. Usually when you buy a human hair wig, it's gonna come in one of these bags. And so I use them for travel as well. And the wig always travels great. Again, I just kind of push the air out of it a little bit and um, put them in my backpack. So I use this backpack for my as my makeup bag so I can wear it on my back. So I usually put the synthetic down in the bottom first because they're just the most durable to me. And then I put in my human hair wigs. Of course, human hair wigs are more expensive, so I wanna be a little more careful with them. And so I'm gonna place the human hair wigs in there. And then, you know, just zip up the bag and I'm good to go. And then I will show you, you know, what they look like when they come out of the bag. So now we'll remove them and you can just see what the wigs look like, you know, when you get to your destination and they come out of the bag. Now with the human hair wigs, I usually have to style them a little bit. I don't really worry about how styled they are, of course, when I put them in the bag, because I know I'm gonna have to recurl them and stuff. Um, they, they may lose a little bit of curl and that kind of thing. Um, so there's another human hair wig. So now we'll look at the synthetic wig. <clears throat> of course, the synthetic wig is gonna hold its style. You're gonna have to comb it out with your wide tooth comb and all that, but you know, and get it ready to wear, but um, it'll hold its style and they travel really, really well. So I hope you find this helpful.